Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbare, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. I'm here to look at a uh, notice board I appear to have missed earlier. And yeah, sure enough, there's another uh, Witcher contract here. I could swear I've been in this town before. But regardless, I'm here now. And, uh, back in Downworn. Got some more question marks in the area that are now revealed. Just a little section sliver there on the right. Also got myself a few more Witcher contracts to worry about. Now that's mostly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be hunting down some Witcher contracts, checking out more of the swamps and other surrounding areas, and otherwise clearing out Velen before I finish off with the main quest in this area. Oh, hello there. Al Ghul. Damn it. Oh, it's got its uh, spikes out. So I took some damage from that, but not enough to kill me this time. Its level is not so much higher than mine. I kill myself trying to kill it. Anyway, as you saw, the uh, cat school diagrams that I'm currently looking for are at one of the question mark locations. So I figured, you know, might as well uh, go after the question marks first, clear out the area, take care of this bilge hag. Stuck in a sinkhole there for a second, but luckily it wasn't uh, too deep. So from here, it looks like we can travel north. Here to be some farmlands further in that direction. And I don't know why I didn't call my. Oops. Gotta watch out for the swamp gas pockets. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't call my horse to come down here in the first place. But I've got her with me now, so... Well... Apparently this band camp has a few dogs. be a bit difficult to hit the guys up on the uh, upper level. Did someone just explode? Okay, there we go. Looks like there's a ramp over there on the left. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have some trouble getting up to the upper level while in combat since Geralt doesn't jump in combat. He only rolls. Oops. Well, that was a terrible thing to have happen. He's just standing there hoping it would get close enough for me to uh, somehow kill him from down below, but that just wasn't happening. So, here we go again. So hope I don't fall off this time. There. That's much better. And let's pick up the loot that's in this fallen windmill. Just, you know, before we leave, 
so we don't have to come back and double check later. Alright. Not sure if it was the one down. Oh, hang on. It's more down there. But then again, I did already pick up the major stuff. The bandit camp is already grayed out, so the most interesting chest in the area I've already picked up. Anyway, got a few more question marks to go. Oh, that's not a question mark underneath the uh, objective marker. Oh, that's a cave entrance that's there. Which implies that I've been there already. Since those things don't show up unless you come into a certain proximity. Necker's surface here dig their way out. I think that Neckers are supposed to be sort of like goblins. They sort of occupy... Oh, damn. damn. Things did not go well for the Neckers there. I told you it's dangerous to stand next to those things when they explode. But yeah, Neckers in The Witcher 3 not sure about their appearance in the book series. But in The Witcher 3, they're effectively almost humanoid, almost intelligent, but not quite there. And so they're sort of a, uh, well, a, a kind of monster that you don't have to think twice about killing. As opposed to, you know, the bandits which are fully intelligent, and which you still don't actually have to worry about killing. But yeah, they, they don't actually shout anything intelligible. Necker's surface here. Dig their way out. Just for instance. Oh damn, that Necker had no chance. But yeah, whereas bandits have uh, equivalents that you can talk to and discuss things with humans in towns and, you know, elven bandits well, they've got el elves are also intelligent, dwarves are also intelligent uh, gnomes and halflings, though rarer, are also equally intelligent then you've got these Neckers. Who are just aggressive. And only encountered at the end of a claw or a blade. Anyway, as far as story goes, it appears that this field has gone fallow. Maybe all of the people who were supposed to work it have been called away for the war and never returned. Necker's surface here. Dig their way out. For one reason or another. There, there can be several when war is involved. Or maybe the locals were massacred during the fighting and were unable to return for that reason or a mix of the two. Alright, just the one question mark left here. And then there's one more on an island to the east. I need to deal with that soon, otherwise I'll just forget about it. But because no one was using the fields, and because it was good land, soft, 
the Neckers were able to move in because they are also burrowing creatures. Able to move relatively swiftly by carving tunnels through soft earth and soil. Necker's surface here. Dig their way out. Yes, I think we've gotten the point by now, Geralt. Alright. Well, only thing left to do now is to find the Steel Sword upgrade diagram using the Geralt's Witcher senses. You want to bet there are Neckers down here? Oh, hang on. Yeah, here it is. Might want to look around some. Little cat graffiti on the side of the stone there. Really does not have any sort of contrast to the stone itself. Oh, hang on. Oh, is this the pig cave? That's not the one. That's the one. Yeah, this is the pig cave. The one with the pig treasure in it. Apparently there were a couple of chests in the main room that I just missed. But hey, I got them now. And let's see here. Huh. Looks like a couple of the notice boards I've been to have turned yellow. And yes, you can filter the uh, the icons. Okay, I can't get that one. And those guys are on the opposite side of the coast. So, into the Novigrad territory. Not where I want to be yet. And speaking of which, similarly, the trousers upgrade for the cat school gear. That one is in Oxenfurt. Which, while I've been to Oxenfurt, I don't really need to get. I don't really want to spend too much time there. So, for right now, I think. My main goal is to see if I can get past the uh, the big hills and cliff face along the river here and get to that question mark on the island. That's why I just ran right on past those necrophages, which are in the town that was slaughtered by a bunch of peasant bandits. Peasants turned bandits. With them dead, the only people left there are necrophages. Alright, this has to be the island. So let's just cross it along the narrowest point and have a look around. Oh, foglets. Damn. Giant skeletons, too. Luckily, they're dead. I think it's supposed to be like a dragon or something. And incidentally, that's sort of where dragon legends come from. Is finding giant skeletons just out there. Skeletons apparently made of stone. Since before, you know, chronological dating really became a thing, when people came across uh, giant skeletons like this, 
Well, they had to figure it was something. They didn't really have a conception of millions of years ago. Anyway, looks like whoever died next to this skeleton looks almost a bit like a mammoth. I'm guessing they had some bright idea about smuggling in this area. I think these... Oh. Yeah, sure enough. You're burying some treasure out here. But they all died. Probably due to the foglets. They're the only things around here that are moving and dangerous. And there's a lot of fog. Anyway, I am overburdened, which is annoying. Especially since it appears to also make you slower in the water. I was hoping that your swim speed was not impacted by being overburdened. Just like it's not impacted when you're on your horse. But I was wrong. Oh dear, I was wrong. Fortunately, I'm only just overburdened. So if I can find the decoction that gives me a few more pounds to work with... I should be able to run to uh, the nearest town and start dumping all of this stuff I've built up. Ah, here it is. Fiend decoction. Plus 20 to maximum inventory weight. Just so. Alright, next step is to uh, get back to mainland as fast as possible. Get back on Roach. And head on back to that uh, well, the, the nearest road marker. Faster. I believe it's pretty much just to the west. Again, it's a nice day for a ride. Might be nice to just enjoy the atmosphere. Take a long way. What now, you piece of filth? I don't even need to kill any monsters right now, since Aaron died is caught up to my level again. Alright, that was the wrong fork to take down that path. And speaking of path, it appears to be on the mini-map, but not in real life. Well, at least this path exists. That's nice. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to lift, look a gift road marker in the mouth here. Since I have been to Oxenford already, and since the cat school gear is within the city limits. I mean, I don't want to go to the East Bank there, but... Well, this should be enough. Plus, Oxenford's got a whole bunch of uh, merchants. Decent merchants. Where I can sell my stuff and get repairs and whatnot. Here we are. Greetings, Oxenford Armorer. Show me what you have in stock. Let's dump some junk. Still hanging onto those shirts for when we uh, start getting other 
Witcher gear. So the decent amount of stuff there. But now it's time to buy a whole bunch of cut diamonds and continue selling. Nope, not the glyphs. Just the weapons. Should also do something about all of those bolts I've picked up. Yeah. And because this guy's a journeyman, he can combine all of the lesser glyphs and runes I've been picking up. And, uh... Combine them together. Really free up my inventory. All right, is that everything? Yeah, looks like that's everything. Don't believe I've got any other full set of basic Witcher equipment. I'm still stuck as a griffin for now. It would be under L for Legendary, since this is the uh, New Game Plus and all of the Witcher gear is blank but now Legendary. And yeah, because I bought a bunch of his services, he now has more gold that I can use to sell off my stuff, but apparently he still doesn't have enough money for all of the legendary weapons and such I've got. Hopefully that should do it. While we're here, let's get rid of those asterisks. Oh yeah. Also got more trophies than I need. Really don't need more than one of each type. Ah, dang it. So close, too. Just need 60 more. Just need to make sure he somehow gets a hold of 60 more gold. Yeah, why not? There. Finally. Yeah, those are good bolts. Gimmicky bolts that do neat things. Why doesn't anyone want to buy them? So I should also note that, at least according to the tooltips, I've, I've never really experimented on this myself. But according to the tooltips, armorers will pay more for armor, and weaponsmiths will pay more for weapons. Even though they both accept both items, you can get a different rate per item, depending on which one you go for. But seeing as weapons are hilariously overpriced, no matter who you talk to in New Game Plus, ah, a customer. I don't really care. Also, you're new. Let's play Gwen. What would you say to him? I ain't got a fork tail for this monster deck, but nothing else new. Oh, speaking of monster deck, look at what I'm up against here. Alright, rain's going to come in handy. That guy's not very useful. And... Mm, yeah, you're the least useful. I got replaced by a card of the same strength, but in a different category. That's something... Oh! Oh, that's nice. I I drew the Frost card. That is a killer against monster decks. Oh, good choice. Monsters have no ranged unit, so that's particularly useful. But then, so is having a leader card who can bring the clear skies in anytime he wants. I mean, just the ones each, but still.
Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go all in. All in on the front row. It'll really help you out, I promise. Oh, you've passed? What's that? Gone from 76 down to 18, huh? Yeah, I think just that will do. Man, I was just short by one, no less. I've spent a few more cards, but I do get one being Northern Realms for winning one of the first two rounds. And now that I've spent my Frost... Oh, more Commander Swarms. It's annoying how useful that is on a monster deck. Because you're all in on the front row, Commander Horns are also very effective. Oh, Monster Hero. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, at this point I'm just intentionally wasting my time. And I did not use my decoy. Because it means... that I can bring my healer out twice. And since each of those are worth eight, when there's two of them on the table... Very nice. Ah. Alright, looks like I got an elemental from him. Ooh, Master's Weapon Repair Kit. I was missing that one. I mean, I don't really use them at all. I still like to have them all. Farewell. I don't think you get those kinds of diagrams from just random loot. The way you get random weapon and armor diagrams. Man, it's dark in here. But it is where the cat school diagram has ended up. Curious. Okay. Yeah, it's a little too dark here, but oh, damn. There's just a hole in the wall the natural cave opening up to it, leading into what appear to be the sewers. Also... Hmm. Okay, so it's not a weak wall, but it does appear to be some sort of fake wall. Oh, hang on. That'll do it. And that's where you find it. Can't go any further that way. But this door opened. So I'm curious what's... Oh, no. That's the end of that, too. It's still curious, though. Like, that, that they would have that little extra bit there. It goes nowhere. But, hey, that's the end of that. So... Still got the main villain quest to do here. And... Still got that uh, crossing the Pontar to do. Hmm. Maybe I should do th Swamp Thing at some point. And... It looks like all of the treasure hunts left uh, just have Novigrad locations. Assuming they aren't in Kaer Morin or Skellige. Although I am curious where the cat... the main cat school here is. Oh, it, it's deep in Novigrad. Jeez. 
I believe that's actually the Temple Isle on the northern side. Hmm. Oh, and just south of where we are now is the uh, Oxenford Academy, which has been locked up on orders of King Radovid. Now, it turns out he's anti-intellectual among everything else. Go figure. And yeah, that'll take me into the swamp, but I think I can skirt around the important areas of it just to do that particular witcher quest. Yeah. Yeah, you see the buildings there in the center. That's the part that you don't want to visit until you're ready. And only really explain why there are buildings there and what they're for once we get there. Once you get to see for yourself. But in the meantime, I've got a witcher job to do. So let's go see the contract issuer, who himself is apparently in the swamp. It's not a very easy place to get to, either. So let's get Roach over here. He said, Roach, let's get over there. Okay. Now it's time to head into the swamp. The proper swamp. All of Velen is at least somewhat a swamp. But if you ask people in Velen where the swamp is, they'll tell you to go here. Or at least they'll point it out to you. If they're actually decent folk, they'll tell you, they'll also tell you not to go into the swamp. And if they're desperate folk, they'll tell their children to go into the swamp. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. This monster, tell me more. Only seen it once myself. And that from afar, and past dusk. Thought it were a man at first. Then it turned, and I saw eyes burning like coals and a jaw full of fangs, one next to the other. Humanoid? Nocturnal? Hmm. First attack. Remember when it happened? A week passed, near about. It was then Boren vanished. Merrick and Tommil went looking for him, didn't come back either, them two. I were feared. Now none dare venture into the bog. Camp stands deserted, and the peat there, Master, it's the best sort. Black as pitch and oily. Good for fuel and... Fascinating, but staying with the topic at hand. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. Afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? You probably won't get too much out of him. Give it a shot. That I simply do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? That I simply do not. All right, all right. Oh, master, you value your services dear. But so be it. I'll agree to that. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here, but beware. Bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard you could choke. So, from what I can figure, the way bargaining works in this game is that Every bargainer has some sort of invisible 
line they're willing to draw on just how much they're willing to add to their initial offer. And this line is determined randomly when you start to bargain. Where does the dotted line want me to go? Sure are a lot of drowners. And bargainers also have ranges. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? That's weird. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. Something dangerous is out there. Alright, looks like, uh... No ordinary found this. The odor. Metallic, almost. Uh-oh. Dangerous fog. Can't breathe in it. At least it's not poisonous, but still. Looks like I can skirt around it, fortunately. Yeah, whatever's out here is... They were talking about fog. It's probably a extra dangerous foglet. So yeah, necrophage oil. This looks like where they gather the peat from. Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. Ignis Fatus. Okay. But yeah, the uh, bargainers also have sort of a range above the line that they draw of how much they'll accept. And, uh, okay, that's the limit of it. <laughs> No, I think Killer Whale would help here. There's something here. <laughs> need to use the eye. If I needed it, anyway. But, uh, yeah, above that range, there's this low offense and then high offense area. And that range is sort of determined by the bargainer rather than at random. Like, what's their personality? And there are also a few bargainers with gimmicks. Ones that accept either pretty much any offer or pretty much no offer. Like, no matter what the random number generator determines. Oh, damn. Your stomach's been through a lot. Dang it. Oh, back into the fog he goes. Alright. I think that was pretty determined. Pretty definitive. I was definitely striking him while he was invisible, and his health bar was not moving whatsoever. Foglets can only be injured while they are visible. Even if you know where they are, even if your sword is slashing right through them. Also, Ursine gear. Cool. Did I miss that when I came in, or is this a different entrance? Either way, it's fine with me. 
I did it. Not sure where they're drawing the peat from exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the peat buildings where they where they base their efforts from, but I'm not seeing the pits where they are cutting the peat from. Any titans? Monsters dead. Fogs dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher. That beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still me family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye. I will pay ye twice the fee. But in a week's time, once I've made up some of me losses. Not sure if this is someone I can trust or not. This shit never changes. I risk my life for you folk while you try to swindle me out of coin. You'll give me all you've got, old-timer. Now. Here. Good. Now get lost. I'm not sure he's one of the ones you can trust. I don't think he is. That's why... Well, I'm, I obviously, I don't think he is. You, you saw why. Well, my reaction to that. And, you know, why have some of the signs, the notice boards, I visited gone yellow again? Like, is there a new contract up at this point in the game? Like, did, did something trigger now that I've uh, done something and been somewhere that created a new contract for me to pursue? It's possible. Not sure if it's the case, but it's certainly possible. Should probably investigate. Well, that bridge is gone. Looks like it got washed out. town whose signpost is oddly far away from the town center. Town center being five huts together. And okay, no. None of those are contracts. I don't think any of them are new either. And yet the signpost is still yellow. Do I have to grab something off of this to make it turn normal, or...? Apparently. I just grabbed a random notice and now it's white again. Got no idea what's going on with that. Oh, and another one is in Crow's Perch. Another one of the yellow ones. Not sure what to do about that. It's quite the journey to get up there. It's, it's sort of bugging me. What? Another one? Be God! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered enough. Not one of the barriers, Anyway, it didn't lead to anything, so I skipped ahead. Ye deaf? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Hmm. So what did he want instead of coin? Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left. And here the door swung shut behind him. My last started wailing. What's these tears? I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. 
fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Oh, oh, hang on. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you than we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath the own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. So yeah, I came here in order to do a Witcher contract, but it appears that someone sort of beat me to it. A game. I bet he doesn't play Gwent with everyone. That's my job. Uh, there's the elemental I got. Fire elemental. Looks nice. Ooh, two decoys. Can make use of that. Ooh, spy. Nice. Hmm. Kira Metz is the other card I don't really need, so. Northern Realms versus Northern Realms. Ooh. Spy deck versus spy deck. This is gonna be fun. Especially because I got all those decoys. Mm, not a good spy deck if he's got poor fucking infantry there. Yeah, even if there's two of them, hooray, they're both worth two. Nice. Jordanian foot soldiers, even worse than poor fucking infantry. How do I even want to play this? How do I even need to play this? The only good cards he's got on his side are my spies. Jesus. Is this like a gimmick deck where he's got all cards worth one each? Oh no! Frost. Whatever shall I do? Looks like I should do something. Slightly ahead. No, I'm slightly ahead. Oh good, he does have a card that's worth some amount of points. Oh, and a trebuchet! How nice. How nice for you. Hmm. It's really going all in on this first round, though. He does notice my card count, right? Oh no! You resurrected a spy. You put it into my side. Oh, wrong card. Put it back on my side, where I can grab it, and then use it again. All right. I think another two cards will do. And... I win. Get another card. Hooray! It's my turn to start, though. So how do I want to do this? Yeah, let's bring back some of that more of that back row stuff. Got cards for the other two rows. Why not? Of course, I've also got my two Blue Stripes Commandos. Oh, that's sad. That's all he had left. Alright, why not rub it in a bit? I believe that full test is, uh... Allows you to play a certain kind of weather card. Much less valuable than clear skies, if you ask me. What? Got any? Ooh, nice. Got some more Gwent cards on him, including some of the ones he was using. 
and a book that apparently is a quest item. <laughs> Farewell. Guess I should have a read. Ah, here it is. I'm not sure what it's about, or what the point of having it is. But I do. And it seems like it should come in handy. And... Yep, this is the same place that we visited once that had the, uh, the hag. Although this time the enemy is much less dangerous. Just a regular ghoul. Bread and butter for actual witchers. It's not hiding inside the sepulcher. Interesting. What? Oh, that. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it. From a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell him about me, please. Monster slain. Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind. Special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Ought to take him to the village elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with the scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. What made you think I owe you anything? He is fully diluting the name of good witchers. This is why they got the whole school and guild system. Make sure that you know you're getting quality service. Anyway, this is why I'm actually here in town. Oh, I hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves, ripped their guts out, but left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it, makes it kill. Howls and bellows, nights something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods, though hunger grips the village. Could tend to the beast for you, but not for free. How much do you need? Looks like he expected it, but is not pleased. Fair enough. That's a sum we can agree to. Fair enough. Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here. Good hunting to ye. Now, to actually provide some quality services in the monster hunting industry. Services you can count on. Services that come with a tidy sum, that come for a tidy sum, but which are worth every penny. 
Oh, jeez. Monster wiped out the whole pack. Man. Big. Really big. Almost as bad as when wolves attacked Geralt. But since they're already dead, they're not properly video game wolves. And so they don't just randomly attack armed and dangerous strangers. Left a lot of fur when it rubbed against the trunk. Scent's still there. Alright, guess we're going after a scent trail now. Stinks like fiend shit. Right. Old and dried out. Fiend's been around a while. Alright, well I know that a fiend is a relic. But just so we get the indication. And because the bestiary uh, needs looking through again. too special about earth elementals. Necrophages. Ignis Fatus. Yep. Cyclopses are ogroids, along with rock trolls and neckers. And fiends are relics, along with sylvans. Didn't expect to find Relic Doyle straight off. But yes, that opening is a little too high for Geralt to jump into. At least in this game. Yeah, I mean, it seems decently easy to climb up, and especially if you just jump down from above like that. Recently, wonder what killed it. Oh. Oh, now that's interesting. Paw oh, prints. If I'd lasted a while. There was a fiend here, and then it died. of blood caked fur. Second beast was a different color. Another trail. Tracks too small for a fiend though. Clearly able to kill it. Both lost loads of blood. A short, it's gotta be. Probably competed for territory with a fiend. Hmm. Have to lure him here somehow. So the plot thickens. Luckily the Chort is also a relict, along with the Howler, which is this particular relict, this particular Chort. And like you said, gotta make ourselves a Chort lure. We'll need some crow's eye to make it. Already have some fiend dung. Don't ask me where I got it. But hopefully they're... Oh yeah, sure enough. Crow's eye bushes just right outside. No problem at all to make. And now that I've got it... I need to interact with it somehow on this spot. Nothing's coming up here, but... Maybe that's because I'm supposed to use it out of my inventory. Ah, oh, yeah, sure enough. Just put that right in my pocket. Activate it. And click the middle mouse button. Done. Ought to attract the choice attention. 
and start dribbling it out in the area. Get it to come back. Based on the prints and the fur, it appears that the fiend is what killed the wolves. But the chort that killed the fiend is, if anything, more dangerous. Also out here in the woods. Well, this five miles away. Also dangerous to humans who want to make use of the woods. It's sure to show. Just gotta wait in the cave. And so, yeah, we can still get paid for killing it. Might need to leave out a couple of details, depending on... how particular the uh, contract giver is. Come on. As bandits and bellies say, I'll make remains of you. Dang it. Well, it's poison, though. Poisoned and bleeding. Just need to stay away for a couple seconds and it'll die. But that's no fun. Alright. So yeah, let's head back to the quest giver and hope he doesn't use a slight mix-up as an excuse to try and cheat Geralt. He looked honest enough. You never can tell. Short was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A chort? Fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open, see if there's anything else out there. Cheers then, Witcher! Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care now. Oh, I see. So Geralt just sort of emphasized how dangerous everything was. And in exchange, he was quite happy to uh, fork over the money. Anyway, it looks like the Beast of Honorton is the next one up. At least if I go straight in terms of levels. The treasure hunts haven't updated. Secondary quests... Nothing to do here. So maybe next time... I should actually find those ladies of the woods. Down in the swamp. Till then, 